introduce to you two members of the Cambodian Parliament, uh, Kim Sovan and Kim Soka. They are touring the United States, visiting our state government to see how government is run. And they are accompanied by uh, two of my constituents, uh, Bung Kim Chun and Bona Chun. Please welcome them. Representative Abler, what purpose do you rise? Uh, point of personal privilege, Mr. Speaker. State your point of personal privilege. I'd just like to continue on with more comments about our fine Cambodian guests here. I had the privilege of attending an event that they were uh, hosting last night uh, in Bloomington, and there were 150 or so other Cambodians there. And I was just deeply impressed with their passion for their country, and I want to remind members that Cambodia is not free. And they don't have the, the, the privilege to say a Pledge of Allegiance like we do, talking about liberty and justice. Uh, they have injustice and unliberty and, and uh, many, many problems. And these two gentlemen, uh, which are referred to as excellencies over there uh, in the parliament, are amongst those trying to make a difference. And they also suffer from electoral fraud. And some of the same things we talk about here and over there, it's life and death. Here we take it for granted. And... Uh, Members, you've already applauded them, but as we go forward, if there's something that we can do to encourage them and that Cambodia can one day be free, it would be better for that region and for their great people. And so uh, it is my honor to have met you, uh, fine people. And so uh, as you get a chance to say hi, these are outstanding uh, international diplomats. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Petitions and communications. The, clerk, uh, the chief clerk will read the communication. Communication from the Governor. The communication is addressed to the Honorable Paul Thiessen, Speaker of the House. Dear Mr. Speaker, I respectfully request the opportunity to address the joint meeting of the session of the 88th Minnesota State Legislature on Wednesday, April 23, 2014 at 7 p.m. for the purposes of presenting my State of the State message. Sincerely, Mark Dayton, Governor. Murphy. E moves that the House accede to the request of the Governor for a joint convention to hear the State of the State message on, uh, of the Governor at 7 p.m. Wednesday, April 23, 2014, that the Chief Clerk be instructed to invite the Senate to meet in joint convention at 6.45 p.m. and that the Governor be advised accordingly, and that the Speaker appoint a committee of five members of the House of Representatives to act with a similar committee appointed by the Senate to escort the Governor. Representative Murphy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. I know that everyone will be happy to know that the governor is going to be in the House chamber on the 23rd. This is my motion, and I hope to have your support. Any further discussion? All those in favor of the motion say aye. aye. All opposed, no. The motion prevails. Announcement by the speaker. Announcement by the speaker. The speaker announces the appointment of the following members of the House to the committee to escort the governor to the joint convention on Wednesday, April 23, 2014. McNamer, Savick, Yoruso, 